All right, for this video, we're going to be talking about uh, how to convert between proportions, decimals, and percents. And uh, actually, after looking at this, I think a better, probably a better word instead of proportions would be fractions, decimals, and percents because proportions is really comparing two fractions generally. So uh, maybe ratios, decimals, or percents, or fractions, decimals, or percents, but uh, we can still get the idea. We want to be able to convert between decimals and percents and fractions. And then when we compare those things, we're working then with proportions. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, if we start with a fraction, let's say 7 over 25, then uh, if we want to convert to decimals or percents, well, first of all, if we want to convert to decimals, uh, then what we can really do is just set up this division problem, put the decimal in the decimal place, how we know to do, and then we can go ahead and uh, try to figure out what this is going to be. So 25 goes into 7, uh, 7 doesn't go into 7, it goes into 70, two times probably you can see how graph paper would be helpful here uh, I think 25 goes into 208 times and we're left with no remainder so we have the decimal 0 0.28 and if you remember percents means out of 100 and sometimes we do read this decimal 0 0.28 but this is also we know that this is the ones place this is the tens place uh, sorry tenths tenths place this is the hundredths place so this is also can be read as 28 hundredths so 28 hundredths is just that, 28 hundredths, just like a fraction. And so we can see that this is 28 over 100. And if we want to convert that to a percent, well, since percent means out of 100, this is 28 out of 100. So this is also 28%. And so we can see how these three things mean uh, are three different ways to symbolize really uh, to write the same amount uh, real quick another way to have done this problem a little bit faster and it doesn't you can't always do this but sometimes you will be able to see this is that we can see that we could use proportions to make this an equivalent fraction so it's, we want to get it out of 100 to convert it to percents and so in order to do that we can multiply the top and the bottom by 4 and so if we did 25 times 4 we would get 100 and then 7 times 4 we would get 28 and then you can see how we can derive from 28 this is also 28 hundredths 28 hundredths and this is also 20 out of 100 or 28 percent. So that's another way to do it. And then you can also see again how proportions come into play when we're solving these. Again, uh, I'm not going to go take too much time to do this. I just want to show you if you if you were to have, let's say, the fraction 5 over 7, then what you would need to do, since this doesn't multiply uh, very nicely to get to 100, then you would still have to do the division and uh, I will spare you all the details but basically when you work out that long division you'll get 7, 1, 4 and then I think it keeps going. So this would be uh, if we rounded this to 7, 1, 4, it doesn't uh, I think it does continue. I think there's a two after that. 
but if we rounded this to 71.714, then we could write this as, uh, well, we could write this as 714 over, this is to the thousandths place. Uh, and if we wanted to make it a percent out of 100, we would just move the decimal one over and effectively uh, dividing the top and the bottom by 10 and we would get 71. Looks weird to write it like this, but 71.4 out of 100. And so we would have, uh, as we know, 71.4 percent. Okay, so those are just a few uh, going from fractions to decimals and percents. Now, if we start out with a decimal, 0 0.23, we know that that is 23 hundredths, and we know that 23 hundredths is the same thing as 23%. How about 0 0.4? Well, 0 0.4 is, this is in the tenths spot. So if we were to make this 4 out of 10, uh, that would be an equivalent fraction. And we want to make it out of 100, so we'll multiply the top and the bottom by 10, and we'll get... 40 out of 100. This is one you have to be careful of. This is not 4% or 4 out of 100, so you'll want to be uh, careful of problems like this. And uh, 40 out of 100 is 40%. Uh, if it was, let's say, 0 0.09, then this would be nine one hundredths and nine percent okay all right let's do a few more let's do uh percents now if we have a ninety eight percent uh well if ninety eight percent means 98 out of 100 and we can write this as a decimal as 0 0.98 in the hundredths spot and probably some of you guys have been taught that to move to change it from a uh, percent to a decimal you can just take this decimal point and move it over two spots and that's true uh, same thing with this move it over and you'll get over one as a fraction or something like that. And uh, if you're used to get that and comfortable with that, by all means, you can do that. Uh, but I just want you to see kind of how that goes back and forth uh, between the decimals and the fractions percent. Okay, let's do uh, just a few more. 5%. Okay, again, we know that that's uh, 5 out of 100. And then that, um, if we went to simplify that to a fraction, we could simplify it all the way to one, oops, one over 20. Uh, and that's how you would go back uh, that way. And again, uh, sorry, uh, if we wanted to do that into a decimal, we need to make sure that we have the zero in the tenths place and then since this is five one hundredths, we need to have the five in the hundredths place. Again, uh, if you were to move the decimal, one, two, that's another way of doing that. What if you have 0 0.5%, okay, because that could be a tricky one. Uh, well, if we were to write that as a, out of 100, we would have, 0.5 out of 100 and uh, let's just say if we if we were to take this all the way to a fraction we would need to multiply uh, the top and the bottom 
in order to get this to be a whole number because we usually don't like to have uh, decimals and fractions mixed we need to multiply the top and the bottom by actually by 2 right because that would give us the whole number 0.5 times 2 is 1 and this would be 1 out of 200 if we were to wanted to put this instead of a percent we wanted to put this into a decimal then when we have 0.5 over 100, we need to move the decimal place to the right, or in other words, multiply the top and the bottom by 10. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. Okay, now if we wanted to do a decimal, uh, since we don't want to have 200, that's not going to help us as a decimal. We'll multiply the top and the bottom by 10, we'll get 1,000 here, and uh, 0.5. This is supposed to be multiplication here. 0.5 times 10 is 5. So we get 5 out of 1,000. And 5 thousandths, we need to go, this is the ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So that would be the decimal form of 0.5%. And uh, last one I want to show you is it, it's, it's unusual or maybe not, not extremely unusual. You might see it a few times, uh, come across it, is if you have 261%, in other words, you have a number uh, greater than 100 as the percent. So we do it the same way, 261 over 100 and we know this is going to become a mixed number we have the whole number 2 and then left over is 61 out of 100 and if you were to take this to 61 and make that into a decimal then you would uh, you could either do move to the uh, move the decimal place to the left two spots and get 2.61 or you can see uh, 261 and this is going to look kind of weird but this is 261 in the hundredths place you can see how this is in the last number the one is still in the hundredths place um, if we had 26.1, this would be 261 in the tenths, because this is only going to the tenths place. Or likewise, if we just tried to put, uh, oh, it's another way we could do this, 0 0.261 maybe, we can see that this is in the thousandths place. This is 261 thousandths, but this is the 261 to the hundredths place. Again, if you like to do, just move the decimal over two spots, uh, that's perfectly acceptable as well. So anyway, that's uh, the video for converting between proportions and percents and decimals. Uh, and we included fractions in there as well. Uh, so it's a little bit longer than normal, but uh, hopefully it was helpful. All right, see you next time.